So let's take a look at that fight one more time. And this actually went way worse than it typically would. Something just seemed off to me on how so many bailings are able to get at my Marines. So if I click on my Marauders here, you can see I got almost a full control group here. I got 19 Marauders. And what happens when this many bailings chases by this many Marauders? Well, they all get slowed down and killed because of Concussion Shell. And you get to just pot shot them with your Marines, which is what normally happens. But in this case, you can see I did not get Concussion Shell. In fact, if I look on the reactor, on the uh, tech lab, I didn't get combat shield either. So, it just wouldn't be a cut drop game unless I made one, like, pathetically newbie mistake. And yeah, I'm 20 minutes in the game without getting standard bio ball upgrades. <laughs> I am 2-1, but I didn't forget, like, the most important upgrade, which is super easy to get. Oh, and there you see the broodlings. We got broodlords on the field, and I got three marines, which my complete anti-air. Uh, at this point, I'm trying to throw down another starport, and I realize, oops, I lost my scouting factory. I can't make another starport. So this one starport will have to do. It does have a reactor on it. Um, I'd like to get medevacs as well, but I think at this point it's more important to get the Vikings. Uh, it's uh, something I should go back and show here as well. Notice he did come in with a ton of zerglings. Looks like he's trying to snipe this uh, command center. When I did push out, I expanded here, which is the way you want to do it, so you get it landed for free. But he did counter fast enough to take magic. Look, he's got a full surround here of both zerglings and broodlings, which normally does a lot of damage to this, but planetary fortresses have free armor. And because I'm psychic, I actually got armor upgrade. So the zerglings do 6 damage. Uh, Broodlings do 5 damage, and with 5 armor that reduces them both down to 1 damage per attack. Uh, which is the main reason this fortress is barely even getting dented. Again, out of anti-air, so I'm just trying to pull back my marauders. Trying, 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 there we go. So I want my fortress to take all the hits. And I think with the fortress is it does one-shot Broodlings on mass with its splash damage. First two Vikings are out. And some Marines. Medivac just taking the tanking from me. And the Marines and Vikings are able to push back the uh, Corruptors. I guess I'm in hold position here. It's strange how this guy's not moving forward. But hold position here is fine as well. Four Vikings now. And we're pairing up those Vikings with my leftover SCVs, and now I'm in pretty good shape. We're going to the income tab. You can see it's a 1200 over 700, but that's because I'm transferring out a bunch of uh, SCVs here. And once I get those SCVs landed, I should take the lead, go up to about 1400. And when I don't spend my orbital energy like this and be able to bring down four mules, this should put me up to maybe 2100, at least temporarily. Now it's Six Vikings on the field. I think it's probably time I should get a few medvacs because I don't have any medvacs. Check out what starport's up to. Yep, medvacs on the way. You should actually use these buttons. You can click to see what your stuff is doing. You can see that I'm not macroing right now. But I only got seven, eight hundred, nine hundred in the bank, thousand in the bank. As soon as I start clicking buttons, I'll be able to spend that quickly. I have actually been trying to make an effort at getting my macro better. Um, obviously it's difficult for me, for me as you can see here, but um, yeah, if you've been watching my last few videos, you can see that's definitely the biggest mistake in my game. And even though I haven't improved it like gigantically, I've improved it enough where all of a sudden like my first push of the game is winning the whole game for me a lot. Because all of a sudden instead of having like four barracks down, I throw down seven just to make sure I can build enough. And then my first time I push out, I just completely overrun everything. It's like, wow. Uh, just a little bit extra, spending that extra 1500 of minerals on your first push. It's so easy. That was obviously a huge mistake by Zerg there, sending out his own broodlings on by themselves. And with the amount of Vikings I had on the field, I could uh, two shot them. So, still a significant amount of mutas and bailings and zerglings. Bring up the unit count 16 mutas, 11 bailings. 65 zerglings, 
and then I got 13 Marauders, 47 Marines, some Vikings, and some damn good upgrades I gotta say. I'm at 2-2 two, two now, and he is at 2-1. Okay, that's not bad. And ground is the important thing, ground melee, because that affects his Bailings, his Muta, no, sorry, his Bailings, his Zerglings, and his Broodlings, the Broodlord's Fire. I do have 3-3 three, three on the way, I don't think it'll arrive in time for this battle. But at least I got my concussive shells and my combat shield this time. So moving in. Again, pulling back my marines. This is a little better result. Everything getting slowed up. So not having to worry about those uh you know, thousand bailings just chasing me down. Uh, stimming a second time and just focus firing the uh Broodlords. Yeah, the Broodlords down. Say goodnight to all these mutas. And that is GG. So, I guess I don't even need to really review this game much. Obviously, don't forget your three upgrades from your uh, factory. Uh, sorry, from your barracks tech lab. Obviously, Stim is the most important of the three. But, um, sorry, I just had to cough there. Uh, combat shield and concussive shells are completely awesome as well. And if you forget them, you're in big trouble. And obviously, this third base, piece of f***ing shit, monkey balls. Monkey testicles. Monkey c Okay, that's the one got it. Um, yeah, and then, uh, so if you skip that base, you can actually just leave these rocks down, seal off this entrance, now you completely walled off that way, these are the only two ways into your base, so if you have your army here, you can basically cover all of it, um, if you try to run by, you can just chase them back, and, uh, close your door, and if he comes in this alley, obviously he's running right into your force, and you got your, uh, planetary fortress here as well, and obviously taking these Zelnogas are huge for this game because it basically shows the entire um, every single lane possible so you're going from the top to the bottom by ground so yeah those Zelnagas are huge um, just one thing to keep note though uh, these Zelnagas don't like if you look at my view okay doesn't really work here but if we back it up a touch So if we look at my view, I got both Zelnagas, it doesn't actually go as far as to see this um, hatchery. So in a way, you could, the one thing I am thinking of toying with, I could fast expand right up here as my first base. Because honestly, this fortress isn't doing a whole lot to protect this ramp anyways, so I could go straight to the high yield and get a fortress here. And... Even if it's seen, it's okay, but there's actually an outside chance it'll remain hidden because uh, just because of the way the Zelnaga towers work, they don't actually see it. And I don't have creep to give it away, but even if it's seen, it's okay. And the one advantage of that is once I do that, this base is super protected once you get a building here. So you could actually go orbital command here as your for your third base. So as long as I take this one first and get the planetary fortress, I can come back to my, like, deep in protected expansion and I can turn that into an orbital just because it's so um, protected. And then I get twice the mules. So I haven't really thought about that too much so I probably shouldn't have actually said that out loud but it's something I might give it a go one day. Uh, yeah. This Viking was just scooting around the map. I wonder if he got any kills. Oh, I got one kill with it. I just sent it on the random patrol all over the place just to see if I could pick up any overlords but it looks like he kept all his overlords back. Um, which is fine by me, it just means his uh, sight is pretty narrow, you know, as he could, doesn't uh, have a good view of much going around, the, going on on this map, which is the way I like it. And with that, I guess I'll call out the end of this video. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Oh, what a terrible timing for my attack. I'm guessing by the end of that battle, I probably just made 3-3 three, three right afterwards. <laughs> I guess I could have waited a couple more minutes for my upgrades to finish. Um, anyways, yep, so I'm going to call at the end of this video, and thanks everyone, and goodbye.